Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Fresh Food Festival. My name is Bill Stone, and I'm the co-owner of Carter Stone's Gourmet Barbecue. And tonight, we're here to be informed about the, the three key concepts around creating mouth-watering and delicious barbecue, all right? Those key concepts are using quality ingredients, developing a great flavor profile, and third, accurate cooking techniques. But first, I want to tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, I had the pleasure of going to school down in Elon, North Carolina, and tasted some of the finest southern barbecue that was in the state, many times cooked at a little place called Hersey's Barbecue. And the, the pit master there, you know, made a lot of different kinds of meat, a lot of different kinds of vegetables, and really tried to make the experience, you know, fun for people who weren't big barbecue fans. And so over the past 10 years, you know, reading books by barbecue legends like Myron Mixon and as well as trying and sampling some of my own barbecue, I've become quite the little barbecue chef. And so what I like to do is, you know, do some road shows and, and find out from people what barbecue means to them and, and how they can enjoy cooking barbecue as well. And so before we move into the, fur, into the points, what I want to do is leave everybody with this quote, and this is from a well-known Southern cookbook author by the name of Virginia Willis, who said that barbecue exists without borders, that every nation under the sun throws meat on fire. And it really is true, and barbecue can be a cuisine, and it can be delicious, and it can be everything you want it to be. So to get into the first point, all right, quality ingredients. All great barbecue begins with quality ingredients fresh vegetables, fresh fish, delicious meats, fresh, never frozen. So if you think about meat as a science, or vegetables as a science, it is comprised primarily of water, just like everything else in the world. If you freeze it, the water molecules will expand and will change the overall structure of the meat, of the product. So never freeze your, your, your product, okay? When you're selecting the product, Always try to go for top quality if possible. When you're using beef, they sell um, prime beef. Typically better than choice, typically better than select. If you're using vegetables, we all know how to pick out vegetables. Just go to the store, select right, delicious vegetables. Great flavor, what many people call the flavor profile, okay? The first primary ingredient of the three to creating a great flavor profile is the rub. The rub is defined as a collection of spices that will bring out the natural flavors of the food that you're cooking. Okay, so many people typically use salt. You use salt on corn, on eggplant, on a number of different vegetables and meats because it helps break down that particular product and enables it to take in the flavor with which you're in introducing it to, okay? The second concept would be an injection. And as you can see here, this, this large needle-looking device here is what they call a meat injector. And a meat injector, what it does is it takes the solution that you put together, typically an apple cider vinegar with water or a beef base, and you can actually inject your product with it. And what that does is it helps keep it moist throughout the course of the cooking process. Because as you all know, meat and vegetables and other product will dry out over time cook it too long, it will be dry. Nobody wants to eat dry food. And then finally, what people like myself love to use is smoke. Smoke is emanating from whatever wood you select to burn. Typical flavors are applewood, uh, peach wood, mesquite, hickory. They all add very rich and robust flavor to whatever food you're cooking, whether it be fish, meat, or vegetables, which I actually think is the best. Okay. And finally, the cook technique. Okay? Cooking techniques really span in two methods. The first is what they call grilling. That's high heat, direct flame, where you're basically putting a char on the outside of whatever you're cooking, and you're cooking it quickly. As Myron Mixon says, Grilling is always at a high heat. It's always 375 to 400 degrees. You're cooking it quickly. Typically what you're cooking is already tender. So there's no need for it to cook 
for a long period of time to tenderize it because it's already there. Okay? And then the secondary cook technique is, is what we call low and slow. Okay? It's called smoking. And for that, you use a specific type of grill called a smoker. And you cook the food at typically 225 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit for anywhere from 5 to 15 hours, depending on what you're cooking. And what that does is it allows it over a period of time to take in that smoke flavor and really absorb all the flavors of the food and of the rubs and of the injections, and it makes effectively your, your top quality product. Um, one thing I always say though too, when you're smoking, when you're cooking meat for that long, you never want to forget to crutch. And crutching is a term that applies to wrapping the particular product in foil which allows it to basically cook inside of its own juices. It's almost as if you're roasting it for a period of time. It will allow it to get to the point of internal temperature where it is safe for consumption, and it will make the meat extremely tender. Okay. And in conclusion, what I really want everybody to understand is that cooking barbecue is, is easy. You know, with practice and patience and perseverance, it's very easy, and you now have the tools and understanding of what you need to do that. And I'll leave you with one final quote. And that was from a, uh, an article I read in Forbes magazine about barbecue. And they stated that great barbecue is more likely to come from a retired dentist or a school teacher cooking barbecue in their backyard on the weekends than it is from anybody you'll see on Top Chef because barbecue is that widespread and that interesting. Quality ingredients, excellent flavor profiles, and accurate cook techniques. And you too can make delicious barbecue. Thank you.